New government security regimes must focus on people, not just artificial intelligence. I'm Al Fletcher and this is 2030 Plus. Terror groups are constantly looking for new ways to wreak havoc. Most governments work hard to protect their citizens. They increasingly rely on technology to help them do just that. But building algorithms or self-educating machines won't be enough on its own. We, the people, need to be involved, and we need to know how to do it. Around the world, big data analytics will play an important role in preventing future acts of terror. Today's computer networks are powerful enough to analyse mountains of data, generated by myriads of internet-connected gadgets we use every day. Our smartphones, smart TVs, sat-navs and even smart light globes all generate data. Sophisticated computers can recognise patterns in that data and that's an invaluable tool in helping to uncover antisocial activity. But for all that, nothing replaces the eyes and ears of human beings in real-world situations. People read signals that technology just can't see. And without encouraging a paranoid spy culture, we need to be given updated information on signs to watch out for, especially in large public spaces and at times of high alert. Here in Britain, our security forces claim to have prevented 25 attacks between 2013 and 2018. For obvious reasons, they can't tell us how much of that success is down to technology. But I think there's a very good chance that at least some of that success can be attributed to old-school public awareness. Apparently there are 500 security investigations going on right now in the UK alone. More will certainly follow as terror groups find new ways to counteract technology. We need digital tools, but trained human eyes and ears will only enhance our ability to avert disaster. It's time for governments to issue up-to-date tips on how everyday people like you and I can help prevent terror attacks. No, we don't need thick government booklets stuffed through our mailboxes, but police services and security forces already put out marketing campaigns to help us watch for trouble on railway platforms and in airports. It might be time to do the same for shopping malls, for busy streets, for universities and other public spaces. We can foster alertness without promoting fear. I'm Mel Fletcher. Thanks for watching.